Hi guys, welcome back. So in the previous one, we finished our contact form. Uh, in this one, we are going to see how to improve our search engine optimization. Now, if you observe in uh, in our uh, site, we don't have a title at the top. So it's just a URL. Uh, in, in Svelte, it's really easy to add meta tags, which are uh, supposed to go in the head tag of uh, you know HTML. So it's, it's quite easy. Uh, compared to other uh, meta frameworks like you know uh, Next.js or Next.js, uh, Svelte has a really easy way of adding meta tags. Now let's see how it is done. Now uh, let's look at this page. Now uh, the page inside routes is the home page. We will add a Svelte colon head tags, and whatever we add here, this will go into the site uh, in this space. So this is, a, this is like a placeholder for whatever you add in the Svelte head tags. Anyway, so that's there. Uh, while we are looking at this, you may see body, which, you know, whatever related to the body that will go here. It's kind of like a slot that we use in our layouts or in components. Anyway, so this Svelte kit uh, dot assets, this will point to the static uh, directory. Uh, we'll come to that later. Now here, Let's say I add a title, uh, something like business front page, right? That appears right away in our tab here. Uh, if you want to add something like meta description or something, so you can add that business uh, front page is a company or something. Now, if you want to check, I mean, there is no way checking here. So if you want to check here, you can uh, wrap this maybe and see. There is this tag which is cut out there okay yeah so this is the tag right so we got the title and also the meta description tag similar way you can add uh, multiple tags here uh, let's say you want open graph tags uh, twitter tags uh, any of those can be added here now you may have to like copy this and paste it to other pages let's say i want something in about page i paste it here i'll change few things here um about or something like this so when you go to about so that's will, that will reflect now if you have less number of pages then this is the best way to do it like you know you can just copy paste these you know swelt head uh, thing and your your tags will work just fine but let's say if you have uh, many pages right in the future videos we will add a block section to this this you know site and when that happens you cannot just go and add these tags to every single blog post, right? If it is from an API, there is no way to do that. So in those cases, it's better to have it as a component in one place and reuse it uh, everywhere. So that way we'll not be using the same thing again and again. So let's see how to do that. But before we go there, let's figure out one more thing. There's something called JSON-LD, which defines the schema or what kind of uh, page it is or what kind of data it is all those things so if you uh, go to the home page it has all the details about what it is what is schema and you know how to use it and everything so in in our case we want to go to this website schema we want to copy this and we can just uh, paste it here right now if you have used other frameworks, you probably already know how difficult it is to add this JSON LD to your website. Let's come back here. Um, we'll uh, go and see whether it is there. It's it's already there, right? So let me let me probably wrap this. That way we'll see the entire thing. Okay. So that script tag is already here. Okay. Um, let's. Uh, this is this is how easy it is to add things to the head tag now let's move on to creating a component and reuse it i'll go to this uh, library directory and i'll create something called seo.swelt and paste it here now in page i can just use that component i'm guessing it has auto imported let me yeah it moved here and also auto imported from uh, lib Anyway, so let me refresh. Nothing should change because everything is working here. 
uh but that's that's not the you know uh, that's not how we use it because this title will be will change uh, other things will also change so we need some variables here so let's make some variables accessible from other places uh, from the parent export let uh, first thing is title export let uh, description maybe uh, you can also add uh, image if you have images uh, in this case i don't i'm not gonna add it here let there is one more thing called type we will add type as well um, so we can replace this with title and uh, this with description okay so this i'm not quite sure it seems like see if i can do that title so url i will do that in a second so i'll just replace this type thing uh, so let's see if we get all this. Let's say if I go to page and pass those props, let's say title equals sample, description equals sample, um, type equals website. I think that was the type. Um, let's see if we get it here. So sample we got. And here, <clears throat> we didn't really get it so uh, let's do one thing mm, maybe we can enclose this in a template literal then use a uh, dollar and this and then also quotes around it maybe mm, i don't know if this is gonna this is gonna work let me see. It's my throw errors. Uh, but right now it is. It seems like it's already throwing errors. Let's see if this works. And uh, yes, it seems to be working. But script is okay. Script isn't okay. So I can add at HTML. So if you want some string to be rendered as HTML. You just add at html before that and yeah i think we have it so this is the script tag and all these things are there okay it's quite useful now what about the url url should be the, the current url of the page so we have something called page store so we'll import that page from app stores now, once we have this, we can easily get the URL. So I'll use this uh, dollar notation here, page dot um, URL, I think. href is what is the, is how it is used. I'm using dollar here because page is a store. Let's see if we got it. Yeah, so localhost. At this moment, you know, it is going to show that. I may want quotes around it. Uh, otherwise, I mean, it may not be valid uh, in here. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, we got it. So, so this is the schema. So that's how easy it is to get the schema working. Okay, we might want this to be reactive. So let's go here and uh, call something like uh, URL a variable equals. Uh, we'll assign this with all this and we'll use that url here and this should give us the you know reactive value so whenever the page changes uh, the route changes this url will also change now so we just have to reuse this uh, type website so we just have to like go to maybe about page and instead of this we'll have that and we'll have a title about uh, if you want, you can have business front page. I mean, there are other ways of uh, doing it, but yeah, uh, I'll leave everything there. This could be a web page. So there is a type called web page. Yeah. So use this type for uh, you know other pages other than your route. And uh, things remain same. Description. Yeah, we may have missed description here. So let's add that. 
description and uh, similar way we add description and we might need a comma here and if you look at the about page it should also have gotten it now some error now this page is failing i think uh, i know why because we may not have imported seo so i'll just type it again this will do the auto import for us and yeah yeah it's working so if i view page source here wrap it and i have the url properly set up description you know i'm not going to change for now about business front page yeah it's 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 working fine so i can just use this everywhere and do it so in case of blogs there is a, a way of doing it in the you know in layout itself or slug or someplace we'll discuss that when we come to the blog stage but for now i'll just uh, you know copy these to other pages and set this up if you want to change the fav icon um, so currently what it is referring to is this file favicon.png i have added another um, fav icon here here which is a png of uh, 32 pixels uh, now here we see the swelt uh, default one if you want to change that you just go here and do company logo or png so this this is the logo i'm using and that should change right away so it, it will apply for the entire site so wherever you navigate to this uh, will be there so this is how you can improve seo in in a swelter website now uh, there is something to keep in mind so if you're using swelt pre-process right for some reason uh, because if you're using sas or something you might be using this they recommend that you use this ld plus json uh, preserve maybe it will not treat that script tag and change it to something else so or throw an error i think uh, this is required other than that everything works as expected so yes this is about how to set the seo so thanks guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye